Bedtime with Mrs. Honeybee. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Fortnite. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Mrs. Honeybee will be your guide. Let's begin. Close your eyes and see the world of Fortnite. You are in the lobby waiting for other players to join the game. A light shines up from below your feet like a spotlight. This is your time to focus on yourself and your overall strategy for this battle. 50 players are in the lobby, so you're over halfway there. Take a slow breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth even slower. With each breath in, select what items you want to wear for this battle. With each breath out, see yourself in the spotlight wearing those items. Continue focusing on your breath as you select how you want to appear in this game. Will you wear something silly to have the most fun? Will you wear something dark so you can attempt to blend in better? What back bling do you have? There are 80 players in the lobby, so you're almost done waiting. You are standing up tall with your feet planted heavily in the spotlight below you. Make sure your neck and spine are straight with your shoulders lying flat and your head held high. Take one more breath in and when you breathe out, you are sitting in the battle bus ready for battle. There's a quiet rumbling beneath your feet that tickles your feet in your boots. Looking out the window of the bus for as far as you can see in all directions, there's only clear blue sky. An occasional cloud passes by, soft and puffy white. You are so high up that the ground beneath you, all the different locations you can possibly land at, looks like one big mass of green. Pull your back bling from your back and set it down on the ground between your knees. Do you see the parachute? Make sure you do, so when it's your turn to jump, you're ready. With your parachute neatly packed away, ready for when you need it, close up your back bling and throw it over your shoulders. Looking once again down at the ground, it's much closer now. You can clearly see buildings, houses, rivers, trees, all the different and fun locations on the game map that you're about to step foot on. It's almost time to jump out of the battle bus with your four-person squad. Stand up tall and walk over to the battle bus door where each player launches from. Focus on your breath again. In through your nose, out through your mouth. With each breath, you get closer and closer in the line of players launching out into the sky. Your squad of three more players is in front of you, so do three more breaths, and with each exhale, you take a step forward. One, in through your nose, and out through your mouth, step forward. Two, in through your nose and out through your mouth, step forward. You're next in line. Three, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now you're standing in the doorway with nothing but blue sky in front of you. Take an even deeper breath in through your nose. Bend your knees to get ready to jump. Hold your breath for a moment, bracing yourself for freefall. Then, 
using your belly muscles, breathe all the way out through your mouth and jump out of the battle bus. Hold your arms out to the sides like you're flying and feel the rush of air pushing against you as you free fall down, down, down. Feel your belly drop like you're going down the tallest roller coaster you've ever been on. Do you think you can do tricks in midair while you're falling out of the sky? Try doing a somersault by tucking your legs into your chest and wrapping your arms around them like a hug. Do another. What about silly poses? Do a silly pose for your squad to giggle at before you need to pull your parachute. When you're close enough to the ground that you have to start navigating, take a breath in through your nose and pull the parachute. It inflates and expands like your chest. Then breathe out through your mouth and relax into the floating sensation of the parachute holding you in the sky. Let your body feel heavy in your parachute for a moment. Look all around you to the possible location to land. Salty Springs is just up and seems like a good place to start. Navigate yourself towards Salty Springs so you can land on one of the rooftops. House after house comes into clearer view. You're slowly lowering down, 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 rushing toward the rooftop. Focus on landing just right. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And when you land, breathe all the way out through your mouth. You landed perfectly on the roof. Readjust to standing on solid ground by straightening your neck and back and holding your head up high. It doesn't look like your squad landed with you. Look your head all the way to one side. They're not over there. Then look your head all the way to the other. They're not over there either. You're going solo for now. The rest of your squad landed at Pleasant Park. You take a couple steps forward and realize that the roof of this house is broken which allows you to drop right into the attic of the house. Hop down into the attic, out of sight to other players. There's a chest in the attic. You get a blue M4, a grenade, and wood. Use your axe to get more wood from the attic wall. Raise up your axe over your right shoulder and swing. Then raise it up over your left shoulder and swing. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder. Now you have plenty of supplies. The players who did not land on the roof decided to loot the bottom floor first, but you see them from the attic and they don't know you're there. Here comes another player from the bottom floor. You're ready for them with your blue M4. And you've eliminated that player without taking any damage. It sounds like there aren't any more players coming from the bottom floor. So break through the attic, then the second story, to get to the bottom level. When you get there, place a floor over the stairs so no one can sneak up on you. Then you loot chests on the bottom floor and get some ammo. On your way out, Pack the furniture for more materials. Now you have 100 wood. As soon as you get outside, you look to see what areas of Salty Springs have already been looted to decide what you should do next. While you're looking, another player approaches. You are being ambushed. Luckily, you think and act quickly with your resources in mind. You crank 90s up, up, up into the sky. You are so much faster than the other player. You're able to look down while you're building up and eliminate that player 
with your blue M4. You did take some damage, so look out from your high viewpoint to see if you can see any chests. There's one by the gas station. Get down from your structure and head over there. Since your health is down slightly, you duck into the bushes when you hear other players getting close. Take a big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth to steady your breathing and be as quiet as possible. Be completely still, hidden in the bush until you hear them pass. Peek your head out to the bush to see if the coast is clear. It is. Keep running, running, running to the gas station. There's another chest. You open it up, wondering what you'll find inside. You found health, more ammo, and more wood. As you gather all that you found, you look up to the sky to see where the storm is. It's approaching quickly. You have to get to your squad at Pleasant Park. Run as fast as you can toward Pleasant Park. You're playing a great game so far, and you feel confident that your squad will win this battle if you can get to them in time. The health you found in the chest restored you to full health, so you're good to go if you run into other players on your way there. Oh, there's another chest. Look inside to see what you find. What's in there? Among other items, you got an epic launch pad that will come in very handy during this battle. Pack away everything you found and continue on your journey to Pleasant Park. As you run, run, run as fast as you can, someone sneaks up and is sniping you, but you can't tell which direction it's coming from. You duck down and then decide to run in a zigzag pattern to avoid taking any damage. That will make it more difficult for your opponent to get to you. Still running as fast as you can, take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Then jump to one side as far as you can and continue running. Take another breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and jump as far as you can to the other side and continue running. It's working. All of their attempts to get you are not working. Keep going. Continue this pattern and this focused breathing for a few more zigs and a few more zags. Try to get as far away as you can to jump further to the side for a bigger zig and a wider zag, take deeper breaths in and slower breaths out. Your opponent ran out of ammo while you were zigzagging and you got some distance from the other player. Now it's time to change tactics. Turn around to face the other player who is struggling to figure out how to defeat you now that he's out of ammo. You have enough time to really get creative. Since he's far enough away, use your wood to build a floor. Your opponent found more ammo and reloaded. He's about to start aiming at you. Quickly, place a launch pad on the floor. Take another breath in through your nose and out through your mouth to focus your mind, then jump and bounce over him. You use your shotgun in the nick of time and eliminate that player. Great job. He was sure he had you, but they didn't know how good you are. As you continue running as fast as you can to Pleasant Park, you see other players right behind you using your launch pad to battle each other. They're distracted for the moment while you get far, far away. You're heading straight for Tilted Towers now on your way to Pleasant Park. 
on your way you find another chest. Reach down to open it and see what's inside. You got more ammo, another grenade, more health, and some wood. Just what you needed. Good thing you took that exact path to Pleasant Park. Heading into Tilted Towers, you run through the empty streets between the tall towers as fast as you can. Keep an eye out for anyone coming. There's another chest. It's right out in the open. Look as quickly as you can all around you to make sure that no one is going to sneak up on you. Then run over to the chest. You got more ammo, more health, and more wood. Just then, while you're packing up all that you got from that chest, someone is trying to eliminate you from the top of one of the very tallest buildings. Jump out of the way as quickly as you can and aim your blue M4 as best as you can up to the very top of the building. You did it. You eliminated that player. Great job. Now to get to Pleasant Park and meet up with the rest of your squad, they must be waiting for you to get to them. Once you get to Pleasant Park, you begin chopping down the first tree you see to get more wood. Standing in the shade of the tall tree, raise up your ax over your right shoulder and swing. Then raise it up over your left shoulder and swing. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder. You have plenty of wood now for the rest of the battle. The storm is closing in. There aren't very many players left. That's when you spot someone up ahead. They are chopping a tree just like you did. Look all around you to make sure no one else is here and that no one else can see you. Hide as best as you can behind the tree trunk. Place your hands on the barky tree and peek out from behind it until you can get a good look at the other player. You can see them, but they can't see you. You have a grenade that you found earlier in the battle. Hold the grenade in one hand and peek further out from behind the tree trunk. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and wind up your arm to throw the grenade as far as you can. When you breathe out through your mouth, use your belly muscles to breathe all the air out and launch the grenade. You throw it really far. It's sailing through the air as if in slow motion and lands right where you aimed it. You eliminated that player. Now you can keep running through Pleasant Park to find the rest of your squad, but you can't see them anywhere. The storm is approaching, and it looks like all remaining players are in Tilted Towers, so that's where your team must be. You quickly head in that direction as one of the few remaining players in this battle. There they are. You are reunited with your squad. They have been waiting for you because they are being ambushed by many players at once. They've managed to defeat everyone who has challenged them so far. But they are so happy that you are here now. There are a group of opponents heading right towards you and your squad. They are still very far away. So at the exact same time, you and each of your team members take out your grenades. Take a big breath in through your nose while you wind your arm back as far as you can. When you breathe out through your mouth, use your belly muscles to breathe all the air out and launch all four grenades toward the other players. The grenades sail through the air and land exactly where you aimed. You have successfully eliminated those players, but it looks like one of your teammates took a lot of damage before the grenades landed. You drag your teammate to safety and look through all of your items to see what can help. You have some extra health. 
Give your teammate your extra health to restore theirs and help them keep battling. That worked. Now your teammate is ready to win the game with you by their side. As soon as your squad is revived and ready, someone begins sniping you. It's the final match. Four versus four, your squad versus theirs. It all comes down to this face-off. The storm is almost right above you, closing in smaller and smaller, wrapping around this last battle tightly. You and your squad decide to attack your last opponents by sending two of you to the left and two to the right. You all dodge their snipes perfectly while you make your moves one right after the other. When you get close enough to them, you crank 90s as quickly and as high into the air as you can. But so do your worthy opponents. Now you are battling in the air as quickly and strategically as you can. Your health is declining, but you keep going. Then, finally, you eliminate two of the opponent's team with your blue M4 and your squad eliminates the other two. Your squad wins the game. Good game and good night. Always remember that Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>